The sources of every event comes from the testimonies thereof. At the end of the 2020 DIFCON, Pramit Herion Dukuba was happy and fulfilled, as did the DIFCON chairman, the Most Reverend Tunde Adeleye. Delegates also have testimonies to share. Just Philip Uwakulam reports. Take them from the power of the devil and bring them into the kingdom of God. The 2020 DIFCON came at the backdrop of COVID-19 pandemic and the NSAS nationwide protests. Expectations were low, but miraculously the story was different altogether. They are going back home loaded in the joy of the Lord and in the power that has triumphed over death, sin, Satan and the power of the world and the alluring of the world. They are going home as conquerors, more than conquerors, victors, having overwhelming victory in every circumstance and situation of life by faith in Jesus Christ. We didn't know it would be like this. We were a little bit agitated at the beginning, but God has been very faithful. You can see the crowd, we planned for 4,000 by Sunday, when we were arriving, we were already 5,000. By Monday evening, we were 6,000. Then by the time we passed 7,000, I just said to myself, there's no need to count anymore. Other bishops at the conference also have their opinions on the theme and the outcome of the event. You can see the joy of the people. So the presence of God has overwhelmed everybody in difficult 2020. We thank God for this new dawning. And we thank God for our Father in God, the Most Reverend Dr. Nicholas Oku, whom God gave this vision to, to start something like this. For the fact that even the COVID is yet to be totally eradicated in the world, thank God that we are able to meet. And for me, it's been very rich, it's been quite um, encouraging and very challenging spiritually. It didn't end there. A word with other delegates, lay and clergy, reviews testimonies. What you had so far will go a long way to impart in the lives of all the church members in the Anglican Communion. And we appreciate our primate because it's decades the reign of God is moving like a tornado around all the dioceses. It is a timely uh, topic that um, the primate has. Uh, brought for us prayerfully for the church to look at and to pray about during this time. I've been energized. I've seen hope. Not just for me personally, but even for the church, generally. Once in a year, we normally come and experience God's goodness, seeing friends, our colleague, uh, clergy, and seeing our bishop, both the own bishop and the one we are working with. We are proudly going home with many testimonies. And we are believing God that next year is going to be a great one. The team gives us hope to know that in Christ we are not just conquerors, but we are more than conquerors. I saw the need for we, even as lay faithful, not only for the clergy, to go into land, not recycling Christians, as the command God gave us, till the gospel reaches to the end of the world. 2020 has been bedeviled, being the symptom of the last days. The children of God are more than conquerors. I have now come to understand that we really need to disciple ourselves, we need to undergo training, we need to be trained and we need to train people. We are praying and we are asked to just tell God whatever you want and have the faith. I did that. Just as I got home, I received the testimony of that request. I'm very serious. And it is that I wasn't given the opportunity to give the testimony, but I'm so, so happy. And initially, I didn't know it was going to work out for me to be here because everything was so rough. And But God made a way through my Lord Bishop. So he was able to sponsor me by paying half of my payments for everything so i have to pay half and be here yes it has really been a success i must confess a man of god was preaching and he was making declaration it was not up to five minutes or ten minutes i got my own testimony 
So it's really real, it's really working. There is really God in Anglican Church. Really, the Anglican Church in Nigeria has started experiencing revival and this, as believed, will usher in the reign of God. Charles Philip Owakolam, ACNN TV News.